Hey, so a lot of you have wanted to know, um, well, at least I've seen a lot of questions about how to plant trailers. And uh, I just wanted to show you how I do my trailers. Um, so, okay. <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to aim it here at this real quick before I put it down. Okay, so I've got my mix here. And this is the mix that I used from before. Um, and this mix is my, my chunky perlite mix. And this is... This is the same perlite that I used before, um, but this time I just wanted, and this is kind of what I forgot to mention last time. So what I mixed in last time that I didn't tell you about, and, um, and I think it's right over here. Let me show you real quick. Um, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure, I know we talk about it a lot, but this is what I always mix in to all my violets. And this is the Marathon 1% Granulars. If you haven't heard about it, now I'm telling you about it. it. It's really, this is the bomb. This is the stuff that you really should have or know about. Um, and you should be mixing it into everything. Because this is going to really help you with all your streps, your gisneriads, um, even all of your regular household plants. Um, this is going to help get rid of every sort of pest um, for, for everything. All household plants, everything. So I just mixed in um, um, a lot of that. And what it is, is you would mix in a quarter teaspoon um, per every um, uh, four inch, four inch uh, uh, pot. And so I mixed it in here and this, this mixture is, is what you would, this is the ratio for wicking violets. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to put it up here again and, um, okay. Um, and, and, um, what I'm going to do here is show you the trailer that I'm working with. Let me get my trailer real quick here. Okay, so can't give you the name of this trailer, but this trailer here is what we're working with here. So this trailer, um, and this is, oh, it just has, I'm just reusing this, uh, let me just tear off this because this is an old okay, sticker. Okay, so I have this here and you would think that this is not really the right pot um, for using for, uh, for use for a trailer, but I'm going to make it the right uh, pot for a trailer. And how I make it the right pot for a trailer is by doing this. Uh, so first, what I do is I take, I take my, I take this, I don't really use um, this that much anymore because what happens is after about, after about a year or so, uh, it, it gives out, but it's okay because really you're supposed to be repotting your uh, violets every six months or so or less for minis and micro minis. So, so it, it's really okay anyway because if, if you're leaving your violets in for that long anyway, um, it's not really a good practice. So it's okay. So anyway, I'm going to take my scissors which have already been sterilized and how you can sterilize them. Um, if, if you, how I sterilize them is I just take a torch to them and then I just, I just sterilize them that way. So I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut this here and the, I just take an old Adams peanut 
peanut butter jar and the reason why I use this one is because it stands right for my particular shelves it doesn't it's not too tall and it's not too low so then that way um, when they're up at the shelf it doesn't it doesn't make them have tight crowns uh, so it works perfect and then I I put them I just put it together like that and then I I used to do just one strand um, but it works better when I do a double strand hanging and then I when I have a double strand hanging down like so it works better for me because this is the mason string kind so when you poke it through the bottom like so I'll show you here okay Okay, so we have it like that. Take this all out of here. And it should probably really clean them out but uh, I don't really care because I'm using marathon anyway so and I repot my I repot my plants uh, pretty regularly anyway so it doesn't really matter to me so anyway it looks like that and you see it's gonna pull through the water and then when that is done then i take my perlite this is what i'm talking about when i say that i'm going to make it ready for a trailer so then i i'll show you what i'm doing here in a second because i'm going to get the camera to show you okay and i'm going to See, it's piled high with mostly perlite. Okay, now around again. Then I'm gonna pour some more perlite trailers. And the reason why I do it like this is because trailers uh, like to have a shallow pot. They like to keep it very shallow. They do not like to have, um, like, rec regular violets. Regular violets like to have a, like this, like, regular violets like to be, you know, all the way through. Their roots grow all the way through. But trailers, they like it. They like it to be more shallow. See? They only grow more shallow all the way through and through here. I don't really know why they do, but that's just the way that they do better. Okay. Now I've got my, I've got my trailer over here. Okay. Now I have my trailer here. It's, it's in the square. Now I'm not just going to just sit this here like that because this was in kind of a dense pot. If I were to keep it like that, it would be a little bit too dense. So I am going to take it and let's see if I can get this. So that way you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of take this 
can kind of scrape off a little bit just gently. Just kind of take off all this extra, all of this extra soil that was on here without tearing off the old, all these roots that were here. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is tear off roots. Yeah, and some people would say, like, you should probably take the blooms off, but, eh, I don't really care. I mean, I'll take, I'll cut, like, the ones that are already broken, but whatever. There's like a few. I, I, I mean, I always pot like all my streps like that. Mm, streps are a lot more um, hardy, I guess. So, okay, this one is kind of already all. That one probably needs to get cut too. Let's see where that one go. Right here. Okay. Okay, so. This trailer is a nice one. I like how big the, the leaves are. Okay. Oh, that one broke up. I'll start that one. I think I already have a bag for that one okay <clears throat> I love trailers trailers are some of my favorite I actually only grow trailers micro minis and minis those are the only things that I actually grow I don't actually have any standards in my um, collection at all. Um, I am a regular house plant grower. <laughs> I have switched mostly to begonias and hoyas. Uh, and I think that the reason why that is is I kind of found myself getting bored with standards for some reason um, and I don't really know why but kind of starting to get the love for them back again but I still love uh, micros and oh and I love everything with anything with bustles I have some really cute little bustles right here look at that look at that little look at that bustle back leaves Look at that, isn't that the cutest thing ever? Just started them. See, they got like uh, perlite at the bottom and peat at the top. Well, not peat, but you know, sphagnum. And I'm gonna bag it next. I can't wait till then for they to start. This is um, uh, Hunter's Viper. I can't wait to see it grow. Anyway. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So see how it's all like just now it's all ready to go. Okay. So now it's ready. 
Now, now that it's ready, I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to start putting it here. And it's got the marathon in it, so I know there's not going to be, I'm not going to have a whole lot of pest issues. And I'm just going to kind of dig a little bit of a hole here. Just a little bit of a hole. And I'm going to kind of, kind of nestle it in. Kind of hold it upright. spoon and just kind of put it in there on each side and actually I would probably Put it in a little bit. There we go. There we go. And you don't want to pack it. You don't want to pack it in because that's not good. It'll It'll uh, smother the roots. I don't want to pack it in. I'm not, I'm not packing it in. Because what's going to kind of suction it down is, is, the, is the first water. first water. And you don't want to like water the crown just kind of at the base. Just right at the base. That's going to kind of create like a like a vacuum. To hold it in place. Create a vacuum. Okay. Hopefully my finger wasn't covering the camera. Okay. And then the last thing I'll do is put the, the name tag in there later. When I'm done, so that way I don't forget who I have here. That one is kind of, that flower is toast too, so I'll take that one off. Okay, and then lastly, I will fill it up so that way, with water, so that way, see how it just sits there. You can tell I've used these a, a lot. I, I reuse these peanut butter containers a lot. Um, there. So see, it goes down all the way down. Um, yeah. And then I stick it in my light, my light shell. And you see it's not wobbly, but looks like here. It has plenty of, of uh, soil around it so that way it can kind of trail out to the soil and then it will trail down so that way it can hang down nice and pretty. Yeah, okay, so let's go over here. Okay, so I don't know if, if any of you knew how to 
or wanted to know like how to do a, a trailer um, using a regular container. Um, you, know, you can like know how to how to do a regular container. That's how I use a regular container. Um, just so just fill it about halfway or about actually three quarters of the way up using perlite. Um, and then there you go. Okay. I hope, I hope that helps. Bye.